Hello again. Welcome back to Asgard and welcome to our first episode of All the Magic Spellbound. So I decided to take this on because I've actually at this point I've finished recording on Craft of Exile and I was looking for a new pack. There was a lot of suggestions. Um, but this is a pack that had actually interested me that I had come across. Uh, it came out about mid-October and it, I kind of was wanting to wait until A, I finished Craft of Exile up and then B, um, kind of give it some time for any kind of initial bug test phase uh, to go on by in that way. Uh, maybe it would be a little bit smoother kind of starting into the pack. Now this pack is made by the All the Mods team um, and it's a kind of a deviation from their normal stuff where you have just a whole lot of mods uh, put together. Uh, in this pack it is pretty much all magic. I think uh, I had a quick look through the mod list and I think the only exclusion I noticed um, was create so there is no ae2 there is no refined storage uh so we do get to kind of focus on the magical solutions and no tech to fall back on not to mention uh in the past like whenever i've done series with corporea a lot of people complain about that they don't like watching corporea and redstone and stuff like that so this gives us a pack where there is no other alternative it is corporea there shouldn't be any complaints because none of that stuff is available which is great uh let's go ahead and make our world uh we're going to set the difficulty to hard uh survival uh let's see what world types we have we have realistic and realistic large i think we're gonna go realistic large biomes i tend to like that uh for the seed let's see because i know if i do my normal seed i'm probably gonna end up with ocean because that's 99 percent of the time what i get uh let's just go with atm spellbound as the seed so if you're playing along, ATM Spellbound and Realistic Large Biomes. Um, normally I don't mind the ocean, but I have a feeling with large biomes that might be a little bit of an issue. Because I've done that, I've had that happen before and it was... It was a challenge. Um, but of course this pack piqued my interest when I heard it was coming out. Because you have here a pack that kind of cuts out all the tech and kind of the general take on packs in my opinion where it's just automating the same machines uh and having a pack that is literally just magic um you know once again aside from create uh so you have a totally different approach to everything there's no xnet um i don't remember seeing xnet anyways like i said i haven't really played this um i haven't even started a world in here i just knew the pack came out and was waiting for craft i've had it downloaded um since i guess a couple days i think i think a couple days after it came out or something and just kind of been waiting uh to start it so this will be kind of a first look for me and maybe for you guys as well and i think it'll be a bit of fun okay so we got a pretty good spawn it looks like um we're in a forest area uh red oak forest we start out with uh, all the magic guide okay that's just our akashic tome uh and then we have a quest book which we do have this up here so I don't know oh wow there's a lot of quests here let's say welcome to all the magic 2 if you played any of the all the mod atm packs this is that but with 99.95 percent magic mods okay i'm not going to take xp rewards right now just in case we do die uh here's the thing it's heavily gated so project a is gated mystical agriculture is in um, I don't know if it's gated. We'll have to take a look at that. We've got create, um, discord link. We've got developers. We've got playtesters. We have a special thank you. Uh, what is this? If you wish to add a challenge to your run, we have a one-time offer of a cursed ring. You'll take more damage, do less damage, stay on fire forever if set aflame and your soul is damaged on death. Before you can obtain fireproofing armors, all the modium, Craft a Salamander's Eye or the Pyroclast Amulet. Uh, so what do we get? Seven curses. We get double damage from any source. Neutral creatures are aggressive towards you. Armor is 30% less effective. Monsters receive 25% less damage from you. When on fire, you burn forever. Every death tears your soul apart. You suffer from incurable insomnia. But as a trade-off, it looks like we get a plus one looting and fortune level, plus 400% experience drop, plus 10 to enchanting power in the enchanting table, unique drops from some creatures, functionality of the Ring of Ender, and you can create and use unique relics. 
Ooh, we are actually going to do that, I think. I do believe. Uh, this is nature's compass. This is talking about worm roost, uh, which, yeah, this pack does have worm roost and ice and fire, which is exciting. I like both of them. Um, and worm roost is fairly newer. And uh, it's actually a lot of fun if you haven't played around with it. And then some notes about multi so, yeah, We completed that. Okay, so we've got quest tabs for Psy, Batania, Elemental Craft, Nature Zora, Mystical Agriculture, Turtlemancy. Turtlemancy. I'm not familiar with Turtlemancy. Uh, so that'd be interesting. <laughs> it sounds amazing. Uh, we have Astral Sorcery, Ars Novaea, uh, Occultism, which I know people are going to say, oh, you pronounced it wrong. I don't care. Uh, that's just how I pronounce it. But <laughs> Occultism, uh, Blood Magic, Man and Artifice, Eidolon and Malum, Forbidden Arcanus, Evil Craft, Astral and Artifacts, Enigmatic Legacy, and Bubbly Heart uh, Canisters. Blue Skies, Create Storage, Twilight Forest, The Abyss. I love the fact that that's in here. Uh, we also have Tetra, basically taking place of Tinker's Constructs, which we will do a bit with Tetra, I'm sure. Uh, and then we have the End Game tab. So there's Project E. Uh, and uh, this is a Work in Progress tab for collecting. So we got a bunch of different armors and that just yeah it's just twilight forest armors i imagine uh this will probably expand a bit and then killing a bunch of pixies okay okay uh out of curiosity is mystical agriculture gated so infusion crystal is different and master infusion is binding reagent and insanium okay so they're a little bit gated there um but i do like that we're not going to rush into into that uh, now it said passives attack me. Does that mean like everything attacks me? This is gonna take a ring slot. This is gonna be amazingly fun, I imagine. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, we have a roguelike right there, and we do have uh, we do have vein mine, so that's good. Let's go ahead and we'll gather up at least a little bit of those, and we are of course going to be going through the general process of getting started. Let's actually just get a crafting table up and going here. And we will probably take a look here in just a moment. Um, I'm not sure if, I don't remember seeing anything that had crafting table on a stick, but I do know that there's exalted crafting, uh, exalted crafter. Uh, there would be that from evil craft. So I think that's, uh, evil craft might be one of our first, things that we might focus in on because I think going evil craft maybe nature's aura um, I do imagine nature's aura though if I had to guess I imagine tokens in order to get our tokens up and going we might take a look at the book real quick but I imagine we're gonna have to go to the nether pretty quickly yeah right here tokens are required really to progress into anything in the mod plus bottled ghosts uh, so Nature's Aura, we can. It's just going to be maybe a little bit dangerous at the start. So I do remember seeing Mystical World is in here. So we might see if we could get some Aubergine Seeds um, because that would actually be a really solid food source. Oh, there's iron. That seems extremely fast to find iron. But we will take it. Uh, but we'll try to get a place set up pretty quickly uh, to do some farming and stuff because I know food is going to be a serious concern, especially running this amulet or this ring. Uh, I'm certain that we're going to we're going to want um, that we're going to want to have a good food source as quickly as possible. So is that really all I mine? Oh no, I got a stack there. Okay, never mind. Like, man, I should have got a lot more than that. Okay, he's not gonna attack me. Maybe maybe only certain passives attack me. Um, oh, creep. <laughs> it's right out the gates. Let's take these. I'm not sure if we have uh 
botany pots to be honest but we do get extra level like free levels for fortune and looting oh man i was literally about to finish you off yeah they don't seem like they don't seem hostile they actually seem like just as calm as normal so i am wearing the ring yeah i'm wearing the ring so um yeah that's a lot of mutton to be sure okay um maybe it's only ones that can generally attack you like for example maybe bees bees i could see being aggressive because they do have an attack uh it looks like chickens aren't going to attack get off of here i want to go kill these sheep uh, also, it said we had incurable insomnia, so I don't assume that we're going to be able to sleep at night. There's a bee. I don't know that I really want to chance it, to be honest, because I feel like getting poison just right out the gate just wouldn't be a good thing. Um, but I could see it maybe being like Enderman, automatically aggressive, perhaps. Stuff like that, maybe. But, uh, okay, so let's set out also wolves, maybe. Yep, look at that. He's angry, like right out the gate, just ha. Ah. Well, I'm gonna leave those wolves be. Uh, we got mutton, which should give us a good food source to get through the night. Uh, but I would like to try to get something up and going that we can farm pretty quickly. Uh, also, we'll go ahead and get some Batania flowers so we can kind of get started with those. And it's about to be night on us. And I think we're going to go underground and maybe we'll get started on some Tetra. I've got plenty of wood. Maybe we'll get started on some Tetra and, uh, well, I probably should have crafted sticks and not, uh, not just use oak, but that's fine. Um, maybe get started on some Tetra and then kind of just figure out our bearings, maybe do a little bit of mining, something like that. So there we go. And we'll get some food up and up and going here. Oh, and we do have uh, Spice of Life, Spice of Life Carrot Edition. So we will want to bear that in mind, also. So if I was to make, let me just double check here. I'm sure I'm not going to be able to sleep, but maybe if nothing else, we can set spawn point. Well, ah, see, we can't go to sleep though. So, yeah, we can set our respawn, but we can't actually sleep. Uh, that makes sense. I really like this. Like, this is probably the coolest thing I've ever seen in a pack in a long time, is they offer us the Enigmatic Legacy Ring of Seven Curses right out the gate to make it harder but have a better payoff, uh, which I do like that. Also, something I do want to do real quick is go ahead and lock in our difficulty. All right, so I guess we're just going to head down... Uh, maybe do a little bit of mining, try to at least get some coal, maybe some additional iron. Actually, um, before we do that, though, instead of doing a bunch of mining first, uh, let's see, we have, yeah, we've got enough. Let's go ahead, get ourselves another furnace, let's put this in over here, um, Actually, let's do, let's make some charcoal first. And uh, also, we should be able to mix and match colors, hopefully. Let's see about getting ourselves a flower pouch. Uh, just so we can go ahead and start storing up our mystical botania, or our mystical agri, not mystical agriculture, botania flowers uh, as well. And then let's go ahead and just get some iron up and going. And then let's go ahead and start into Tetra. Actually, what's the 
Is there a quest for... Ah, okay, there's a quest there. Ah, oh, it's like that, okay. I should have known. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves our Tetra Hammer. That does count. It's great. We get a Wooden Hammer as a reward. And then we need to get a Crafting Table. And we do have our Hollow Sphere, which of course is just... Basically, it tells you... It's kind of like the, the mods book. Uh, so you can click here and, uh, you know, tab through different things uh, and kind of see the effects of them and what materials are available. Uh, but one thing we are going to do, let's go ahead and change that over. Just hit it with the hammer on a crafting table. And if you break it, you'll get back your normal crafting table. Uh, but let's go ahead and put in our stone pick. And uh, actually, well, um, yeah, we'll go ahead. Uh, this one, we're going to go... The stone pick, we're going to do pickaxe head, we're going to do iron and craft, and then the other side we're going to go pickaxe head, iron, and craft. And that way we have just like a traditional iron pickaxe. And then let's get another crafting table real quick. Uh, sounds like that wolf is still up there. Um, and I know it's a little bit dark, we're going to, actually let's go ahead and fix that. I'm just going to make some charcoal and make some torches, I think. Uh, but then let's go ahead and make another pickaxe. And we'll just make it out of stone. And what we're going to do is, well, first and foremost, do that, get some charcoal going. Uh, but let's take this stone pick. Uh, the left side, we're going to go ahead and do a pickaxe head that is iron. And then for the right hand, or the right head, we're gonna do an adds head, and we'll just make it out of, uh, we'll just make it out of cobblestone for now. Um, and that way we have an iron pick mattock, and that way we can trash our axe. And then let's go ahead and do our stone sword. I think we'll probably stick with the basic blade, uh, but let's make it out of iron. We need two pieces. There we go, we have an iron sword. And that way we can start getting honing uh, experience as well as getting um, those pieces set onto our tools and stuff. Now I don't think, um, oh and we do have this too, so we kind of have a backpack to get started with as well. I didn't think about that. Um, now is it? There we go. Go ahead and kill them. And, uh, uh, it looks like it's still night. So, yeah, I'm just going to do just a little bit of, like, kind of almost surface mining at the moment. And I guess we can use this pick to, uh, to dig down. Uh, but it's worth noting, like, this works as a pick, but it's going to be a level below. So this is basically an equivalent of a stone pick. Uh, because it's only half of an iron pick. This one is an actual iron pick mining level. So that's why I made both of them. That way we have a pick um, that we can kind of keep up to date with higher tier pick, uh, pickaxe. So, for example, now we could mine like gold and diamond. Uh, whereas with if we were just using the Madoc, we wouldn't be able to do that. And that's the purpose of that. I'm going to go ahead and just take all this clay. Ooh, what do we got? Back in here, we have some soul stone. We're going to take that. Uh, we also have some copper. And we have some coal. Hopefully quite a bit of coal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And actually, the fortune is really going to pay off when it comes to mining things like coal uh, and whatnot. I think as long as we can uh, be smart about things and not get ourselves killed... Uh, while wearing the ring, which I don't think will be too terribly difficult, hopefully. Uh, but as long as we can approach things intelligently, I think the payoff for the ring is really going to, it's really going to show very, very quickly.
because having that extra fortune and looting and stuff it's gonna be really really nice I have a feeling uh, let me grab this uh, also once we get some leather I wouldn't mind seeing about a backpack even though we do have the ender chest um, getting a backpack up and going would be nice uh, now I'm gonna keep an eye out I want to set out as soon as day breaks I'd like to set out um, and actually it looks like yeah it's daytime okay so let's go ahead and just pull up camp and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dump a lot of this stuff into our ender chest just to make space at least the stuff that we don't need on hand uh, right the second also these I don't really need uh, I don't need both these hammers so just a stone hammer will be good um, and it's important with Tetra to always keep a hammer and keep a sword on you. Hey. Oh. God, he hits hard. Okay, there we go. If we can get some decent loot, maybe out of this. Now, I don't have any particular thing in mind as far as, uh, what's this one? As far as where I want to set up out. VCO. Um, or what mods I would like to tackle first either, for that matter. So I think we're just going to kind of wing it, see what happens. Can I, uh... Breaking the chest will delete your unique loot and items. In order to break, you must sneak while doing so. As loot is per player, per chest, only break if really needed. Well, um, I've already looted it, so we're just going to take those. And that way we get chests from them. Uh, let's see, that looks like uh, Savannah. It's a Baobab Savannah. Uh, there's some kind of a little building it looks like down here. Yeah, let's head to the south and just see what that is. I'm going to have to uh, wade through a little bit of wolves. It's going to make taming certain animals interesting. To be sure. But it's going to make enchanting a whole lot easier, I can already tell. Since we do get plus 400,000 or 400% 400 uh, to all experience sources. So, uh, I'm going to take some roses just so I can duplicate those peonies. I'm going to take those. Ah, it's a roguelike. Hmm. Is that something that we would like? No, it's not a roguelike, it's just a big tower. Oh, it looks like it could be a uh, Apotheosis Tower. Yeah. Tome of Boots. Common Affix. Tome of the Others. Tome of Picks. Tome of Swords. Uh, Tome of Anvils, or Tome of Scrapping. That's right. There are anvil enchants with apotheosis, so I'm not completely crazy in thinking that could be it. Um, and then the top, which I am going to take all these bookcases, and that way we don't have to worry about this TNT either. I did that, what, on Stacia and blew up all my stuff. Never again. Never again. And, uh,. Uh, rare affix tome and it's gonna make our lives a little bit easier to go ahead and have some of that on hand uh, So we can get into enchanting epic affix two rare affixes some common affixes We got feather falling two and permafrost now. I don't really need that don't really need that don't need that But my inventory is already looking quite terrible uh, let's take a look at backpacks real fast. Because that might be... Oh, we can't use that one. Uh, leather. Leather and string is what we need. Uh, which I don't have either. Any of those. So, some form of cotton or something. Silkworms, because Mystical World is in here. We could go silkworms, I guess. Uh, yeah, bees are aggressive. I'm just going to run. I hate poison. So I'm just going to try to avoid that as best we can. A lot of bees in this forest, though. 
seems like. Now we have another Apotheosis Tower there. But the thing is, I don't have the storage for that. I don't want to set up in a roguelike again. We just did that on Craft to Exile. I think that's a roguelike. It looks like it. Uh, lilac. We don't have Lilac. So resourceful bees, they don't attack. So that is kind of nice. And what's this over here? That looks like a pillager outpost. Yeah, I don't want to do that right now. Because I have a feeling I would get my face wrecked. What's over here? Some kind of a structure over here, it looks like. Um, honestly, I think we might set up on one, in one of those forests, to be honest. Just because I feel like that could work for us. Oh, gold. I'm most certainly going to take it. Uh, should be a, yeah, a chest right here. Withered Tome. A wither rose. Oh, my inventory. Warp scroll. Okay, one second here. We'll just do that. That's a lot of gold. Golden apple. We're going to take that as well. I think I can do without the white wool for now. Um, and I'll tell you what. Let me just craft up these. At least get the ingots from them. And then we should just be able to go ahead and read. Yeah, you've already read this tone. And we got some knowledge points. That's for Enigmatic Legacy. We're going to get into that later on. Um, the Wither Rose. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take it. We'll be able to get them, but not just yet. And I may end up having a need for it. And I may regret not taking it. Oh, do we have uh, Waystones in this pack? Or waypoint, uh, waystones. Yeah, no, not uh, signposts. That's what I'm thinking of. Do we have signposts in this pack? Oh, I see cows on the map. Supplementaries. Okay. Got excited there for a second. We got root stalkers. Uh, Worm roost has a lot of cool mobs. Uh, to be honest. The, uh, the water dragon things are like one of my favorites. So you guys, also not aggressive. That's good. Uh, I'm actually going to set up our crafting tables here because hopefully we can... Well, we don't have string though. Yet. Let's see. Can I toss? Um, it's not really a good, good amount of Inferium, so I'm going to toss that. And I'm sure I won't have a need for that either. Okay, so we got seven leather. So once we get the string, uh, we should be good. Is there an easy way? We got string, silk thread, and dream cord. Uh, is there an easy way that I can get this? Flax. Well, let's just head out. The only thing that's really bad about this area is the amount of bees. The amount of bees that seem to call this place home. And I need to be grabbing the mystical flowers as we pass them up. I haven't noticed white flowers, but I'm sure I've probably passed them up at some point. Well, it looks like we actually have just a plains area over there. Well, I'll tell you what, I think we're gonna we're gonna move a little bit deeper back into the forest. And I think this is where we are going to set up at. Actually, there's a structure over here. There's a bee out there. Um, and the bee knows I'm here. He's like, yeah, he's hovering around outside. But what was that other structure? Oh, okay, it's one of those. There is a couple chests in there, though. Uh, let's see. 
I, I'm not going to set up in a roguelike, but we might just drop down here um, momentarily. Because I think this like kind of reddish forest, it almost feels kind of magic-y. Oh man, there's caves breaking in all over the place. Which really <laughs> is not an ideal situation. I'm going to block that off for the time being. Let me just have some cake. Ah, okay, and we have one of these rooms. That's great. Uh, in that case, what I'm going to do... Oh, I don't want that. I believe that's an apotheosis boss spawner, right? I think. Or uh, maybe it's not apotheosis, but I believe it is. We got a blaze bud. Any string, perchance? That's what I'd really like to get my hands on is some string. We've got a soulbound unbreaking two shovel. Uh, we do have some boots. And we have ourselves a headpiece. So we can at least get some armor on. And, uh, yeah, a lot of things here I'd actually like to take. Leather pants, I do want those as well. Uh, now, there was another chest over here. Please have a chest piece, because that would just be wonderful. Uh, shield. That's more torches. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's a boss spawner. Okay. So let me light up this area just a little bit, and then we're going to kind of cheese this boss a bit. Hey. Come on back. 71 health. Oh, my gosh. At least he doesn't have raging. Because that's what we definitely don't want him to have. Uh, and we do kind of have to keep an eye out because we could get jumped by, uh, by a mob. But actually killing one of these like right out the gate would be quite nice. Actually, because I am worried about a mob showing up, I'm going to go ahead and just block that off for the time being. Now, if we get lucky when he dies, he'll just burst into a bunch of baby zombies because that's like my dream come true. And maybe they'll all have poison too. That would just be great. And cave spiders. Maybe zombies and cave spiders. That would be. The best day ever. There we go. And that was our first monster too, apparently. So what do we have? Let's set down some of this stuff. Oh, we do have uh, leather. I am going to take that. Oh, man. Okay. One second. We're gonna we're gonna bask in the glory of what we found in just a moment. We got feather falling four boots. Okay, those are pretty good, but I'm gonna leave them here for right now. Uh, we got Ears Molten Iceborne Steel Cutter of Latent Magic. Enchant ability is increased by twelve. It has Bane of Villagers five and Vorpal four. Uh, plus, it does cold and fire damage. Wow. Okay, I feel like that is going to be a very very good sword for us, like starting out. Uh, anything else in here of interest? Um, I mean, we can always come back here. Uh, we did get a tattered tome. Let's go ahead and read that also. Um, and we might take the redstone also, because I could see that being uh, quest completed reparo. Man, it's going to be interesting, though, if roguelikes are filled with, like, apotheosis boss spawners. That's going to totally change, uh, it's totally going to change things a bit, to be sure. I don't know why I insist on holding on to these chests, but I do. Let's just go ahead and dump that, because I want to steal these blocks of redstone, I think. Oh, man. Oh! 
Oh, 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 I want it. Artifacts is such a great mod. So now we have immunity to fall damage and we have better jump height. That's actually so good to find this early on because we jump like really high and we can't take fall damage. Which that's going to pay off a ton. But I, I've literally, I mean, I know it's getting close to wrapping up point for this episode, but come next episode, we are going to step back out and we're going to see about finding a place to actually set up um, because we're going to need a home quick. Um, because my inventory is awful at the moment and oh we got some string oh and we actually have cobwebs so I can get the rest of the string that I'm going to need like it like that okay so let's head back and we can craft up a backpack and then we'll have a bit more a bit more storage to use what's in here Dismay a dozen advancement. Oh, there was string there as well. Uh, efficiency three in nature's mend. I do actually want that. And let's go ahead and get ourselves a backpack. And we can actually upgrade this fairly easily. Uh, we are going to do that, in fact. Let's go ahead and get that. At least do the first couple upgrades. Um, so actually, let me take... Let me take this off for just a moment and we're going to go iron we're going to go gold and then we'll put that on and so now we got oh that's so nice so now i don't feel like it's such a big rush for us to find a place to call home um though i do think where we're at will be uh, honestly a pretty good area to set up shop um I'm going to go ahead and put all of our stuff into the backpack since we do have space. And that way we kind of have everything in one place. A literal ton of storage between the ender chest, which of course that's an effect from our ring, and then we got the backpack. Um, that's going to be quite nice, in fact. Uh, now there is of course another path off in this direction, but I think at this point, I know it's pretty close to wrapping up point uh, for this first episode. Uh, but come next episode, we will, um, okay, we haven't honed anything yet. Uh, we will try to find a place to call home. I feel like we've been extremely lucky this first episode, though. Uh, we got bunny, we got immunity to fall damage. We have an insanely powerful sword for starting out with. We got some kind of crap gear, but that's okay. That'll be all right. Um, but yeah, so next episode, we are going to go above ground um, honestly, I think probably about right in here-ish would be maybe a good place to set up. Uh, but I'll give it some thought. I mean, I'm not totally sold on a red oak forest, but I feel like uh, we could work with that. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And I hope you guys are excited about this series. I am so, so hyped for the series personally. Um, because it's a pack that's literally just magic, you know, at the end of the day. And magic and exploration is going to be great. Um, plus, we'll be able to do a bit with Create. I think this will be a good series for that. So, uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe. And I'll see you guys then.